Hi guys, how are you doing? Now, it's been a long time since I made any travel video breakdown tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Now, Eric, an amazing YouTuber and a travel videographer has made this amazing video. I'll link this down below if you want to check it out. It is an amazing travel film. Now, there's a certain transition which I'm going to show you guys of how to do this in a similar way in Final Cut Pro. You can do this in Premiere Pro as well because most of the things are assets. Most of the things are basically templates. So you guys can just drag and drop them onto your main timeline. And that should be it. Now, just to be clear, this is not the exact transition or the exact effect which Eric used, but it is very similar. And to the point, if you adjust it, you can make your own style out of it as well. But the logic of how to use this, where to use this is just the same for any kind of footages out there. So let's go. Now, before this, I'll just link his video down below if you want to check it out. Also, let's just have a quick look on his footage and his transition, which he used in this video. Now, this is the transition which I just referred to. If you look at it carefully, it is just simply film rolls, film grains and some overlays stat on top of each other, sometimes color graded, sometimes overexposed a little bit. And that's pretty much it for this one transition. This is more or less can be just a simple drag and drop transition if you just know what you are doing exactly. Now, I have my timeline with some Bali footages because it just gets the vibe correct i don't know how but yeah i just have some bali footages right here just like this arranged one after the other now let's just reduce the duration of the footages just a little bit let's say like this maybe i have to play with them just a little bit but this is more or less how you should get this done and for the film overlays i know you guys don't have the invato element subscription or the motion editor subscription so i have made some amazing film overlays back in the days you guys can check out my film roll overlay which i made in 2020 you guys can check out my scrolling film overlay which i made in 2019 and you guys can check out my moving film overlay which i made in 2020 all of these are custom made these are free to use and these are just overlays you can use in any software any kind of condition these are pre-keyed out just drag and drop them you're pretty much good to go maybe few tweets and all all of those things but you're pretty much done so I have tried to keep this thing as simple as possible. Also self promoting my products too, but these are free. So it's not like I'm getting money from it. Also, there's another free overlay, which I found on the internet, such as this one, which is the vintage film projector overlay. You guys can use this to increase its exposure, add some Gaussian blur to it, and it will look really good on the footage. For this, I'm just going to use my footages, but you guys can use this one as well. Looks pretty good to be, uh, looks pretty good in my opinion. So here is the footage. I've downloaded all the assets from my own videos. And all you have to do is just simply drag them on the footages. So one is this one. Another one is this one. And the last one I do have to find a bit. So last one is this one. Right, so. All you have to do is just, you know, place them like this. Some of them are not pre-keyed out, so you have to just, you know, change the blend mode to light and all screen depending on which one you like. Let's use this one to change the blend mode to light and all screen. Which are you like? Again, this is, which are you like? Again, this is just total customizable thing and you guys can play with it as much as you like. Now here I've arranged all the overlay stat one after the other. Now the simple thing is, it is pretty much done if you look at this. Let's say this is my transition point. I put a marker here and make sure the transition point ends in such a position where the picture changes to the next particular clip, just like this. Right, just at this position where the picture forms, my clip changes to the next clip. Looks pretty good. Now this one clip, I'll also duplicate it in this position so that it looks good. So in this position, I like this particular overlay, but I want it to be a little bit more blurry, a little bit more overexposed. So just go to the blur portion, such as here, and just drag the Gaussian blur filter right here. Reduce its, of course, reduce its intensity just like this. Increase its exposure just like this, and it looks pretty good. Right, and in this position where it says picture, if you want, you can just expose the uh, portion just like this and increase the exposure. Add a little bit of a Gaussian blur just like this. Reduce this intensity because you know it's right. 
a very subtle difference but takes it to a next level now here is the footage just like this now if you want to take this to a next level once more you guys can add a little bit more of a zoom in kind of a can burn effect just like this it is automatic in final cut pro but you guys can do this in premiere pro just with the click of a button just that's it so this is how you do it it is very simple to use it is very easy to do all of these are free of cost now if you want to just make it like x let's go to this portion once more you know here you can see one overlay if you play it slow so let's play it slow just to break down once more just like this 0.5 and let's go here here it is one overlay just like this it is one single overlay it is also one overlay as you can see right here it is another overlay on the right there are some film vertical horizontal lines on the left there is a film overlay just half masked out there is a frame block in transition here as well he probably masked that particular mountain or particular landscape and then just keyframed it from right all the way to left in our case we didn't really do that because we had an inbuilt transition of the overlay itself so it is kind of saving our time but of course if you guys want to take this to next level you guys can add some keyframes too here there is one more overlay just like this there is one film overlay now here the effect i use is more or less similar so here you can add some gaussian blur increase the exposure out of it and you are pretty much good to go as you can see right here this is just overlay increase the exposure there can be two scenarios in this case either he got a ready-made overlay on the internet and just drag it here or he used a bunch of different overlays played with their exposure played with their composition played with their blurriness and just created this out of scratch and here is the next slip so that was the moving overlay from right all the way to left and he just transitioned to net slip now if you want to make a similar one you guys can search a film overlay on the internet just take a jpg out of it animate the footage as you like and you can do that but in my case i have some ready-made transitions i have some ready-made overlays can save you guys a lot of time and also if you guys play with the exposure and the gaussian blur a little bit more you guys can create your own transition just out of it you guys can also change the color using the stencil key or stencil lima method and that's pretty much it another thing which can take this to the next level of course is the sound effects i like the rolling film sound effect which i have from every image sound which is right here this one which is the film 35 mm uh, rolling shutter uh, transition sound effect this is from epidemic sound you guys can get this from the internet as well also you guys can search some film glitch sound effects to put it right here put some fall sounds some background sounds some landscape sounds such as bird chirping here it's like uh, here it's a rice field so it can be wind uh, it's not a rainy day so no cloudy or rainy sound effects either but you guys can improvise as you think so that's enough for this video it was a very simple video the transition links are there in the description below by the way it is free of course do make sure to try this out also if you guys like this kind of videos like this video comment down on this video and i'm pixel sammy we'll be back with a new video soon peace out also edit's channel is there in the description below do make sure to show this video love because this is an amazing video i'll make more such videos on this and help you guys learn the art of filmmaking and transitioning a lot more that's it peace out